when this stuff starts let's let's get started yeah okay you're right (laughs) otherwise we're gonna get started i just forget i'm just blah 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 (laughs) edit that out no (laughs) (laughs) hello again welcome to navigating the shift we're not going to do a whole lot of news today because it just isn't that fun. But I want to talk about, we both want to talk about some sort of what's going on in this, the spiritual world or the metaphysical world. Um, and a little bit of a heads up so that you're protecting yourself from some of what's going on right now. So you're good. You're not under danger. It's all going to be fine. But there are some spiritual attacks coming up from this last chunk. And why? We want to start with the news. Yeah, not much news that I have. Uh, there had been some major floods in Victoria. I'm pretty sure we talked about it in the last episode. I can't remember. But that knocked out power for 39,000 homes. Um, and also the banks, their apps continually keep going off. Even this week, ah. while I was in the city, um, people were saying, oh, I can't get on the bank. I can't book it through my watch or my phone. Or um, <clears throat> the apps are down again. So this is happening over and over. Oh, the banking systems are switching over to the quantum system. Yay. Yeah, I don't know. So what do you feel about that and the idea of the switch over? Do you think that they're moving a bit at a time? Yes, I think the idea is to make it as smooth as possible and that so that some people don't even notice. I, I think, you know, we won't when our banks flip over that we won't even know. It, we'll still have the same amount of money and all that, but it's just isn't going to be going through the evil banksters. But if it's I think going through a, trying a, to a keep new it currency, smooth. though, if it's going to be a new currency, we talked about this last I don't think well. that's going to happen right away. <clears throat> I think they've got to get all the banks switched into the new system before they go, okay, now we are in this new system and here's what we're doing. I think it needs to be a done deal. So it's just, oh, all right, I still get, it's still the same value. Oh, all right, you know. Whatever, you know, the idea is there's so much truth coming out that people are going to be so shocked about. They're going to feel so betrayed and it's going to be anger, a whole lot of anger. And like one guy was talking about, he was he found out that some of his relatives who he talked all about the dangers of the jab um, decided to go ahead and get it anyway. And they hadn't told him because they didn't want to talk about it. And he was like, what am I going to do? I mean, I feel like I failed them. And I was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. But they are all angry at him. The family. When he said, I tried to talk to you. They're like, just shut up. We don't even want, because there's a sense of they only talked to him because they started to realize what, what he was saying was true as some of the news is coming out about bad things happening. And they're angry at being betrayed. And they is like, damn, you know, so there's going to be some, what was it, was it, uh, who has it said this, uh, that there was a shout, you know, the scream, a roar heard all around the Allison world. Alison Coe. There will That's be a right. Roar, a roar heard around the world. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She does deep hypnosis sessions with people and talks to their higher selves and that's some of the information she got i'll put the link below it's yeah, very good. um the sessions are lovely they all seem to be very much along the lines about the event and what happens during the event what happens after the event uh, and nobody else seems to get the same sort of information as her so i don't know if she is attracting in that kind of information and they, then they keep giving her dates and the dates move on and on and on which aren't isn't helpful to anybody because some people are sitting there <gasps> Is it today? You know, it's not, that's not helpful. <laughs> yeah, right. If it's going to, if something that enormous is going to happen, there'll be no warning. Um, yeah. And she always gives the caveat, you know, they said soon and from their point of view, and I've gotten caught on this before. So I'm just going to give it to you because this is what they said. And you can believe it or not, you know, so she does give you a little bit of a warning there. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, that, and it talks a lot about interplanetary travel and different and the, the, her clients become different beings on different planets and the things they learn there, which can be useful here. So that is very much about the fractal soul, isn't it? You know, that we yes. appear in many, many places and we're learning in all different places. As the veils of illusion dissolve away, we get to remember more of who we really are. And connect. And it's not just mm. here. <laughs> mm, mm. So I'm just going back to the thing about the families as well. People are going to do what they're going to do, you know. I've noticed that there are some people that are my friends on social media and they're real friends as well that are absolutely adamant that they're going to do it anyway, regardless of what 
information is being <clears throat> brought out a little piece at a time in the press. Absolutely going to do it. And there's their photograph with their mask. And I've just had it. They had my second one. And and because they're kind of waiting to be patted on the head. The virtue signaling is what people have described it as. If every person underneath went, oh, you fool, what are you doing? <laughs> then they probably wouldn't do it. But uh, they're obviously waiting for acknowledgement. And yes, good boy, star on the forehead, you know, or on the arm, star on the arm. A lot of programming, a whole lot of programming out there. Bruce Springsteen recently came out, back to Broadway, but no AstraZeneca vaccine recipients allowed. Um, right. But uh, wasn't it Tara D by Janine that recently put out a thing talking about his, um, how he's part of the system? And I'm like, of course, I suppose so. But, you know, she was pointing out the song, I'm on fire. Do you remember that song? Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I was God. like, oh, exactly. I was like, oh, every time I sort of sang along, I thought, does that mean he's like in love with a teenager? Like when it came out, which was so long ago. Maybe yeah. he likes a teenager. I mean, there's lots of songs about Sweet 16 and, you know, maybe that's what it is. And then when she pointed out, actually, it might be like a little kid. I'm like, oh, have we all been singing along to that for all decades? I haven't been because I've never been a fan, <laughs> but oh. I've heard it. Uh, yeah, well, I think the bottom line is your soul chooses your experience, whether you're you're here to stay through it or if you want to leave and being one of the statistics about the uh, jabs. But I think that it's being actually inflated because what does it produce? Fear. Anything that a lot of people, if it's not all of them, have been taught to fear, like um, fluoride. Mm -hmm. The guy was talking about how it's not fluoride that's the poison you need to work for. It's something heavy water. I've got to like, I haven't even watched the whole video and I want to do some research. So it's like, you know, we're told that the electromagnetic radiation that we're surrounded with now is really bad for you. Everybody knows that most people, well, there's a few people who don't, but pretty much everybody knows. So my experience with a huge dose of radiation, which I could have died from, it was a lethal dose, but it transformed me. It took a while. I was really sick. My skin bit, peeled, my hair fell out. Not all of it, obviously. Um, but uh, afterwards, it doesn't bother me anymore. We're going through a, a time when there's going to be a lower magnetic field around the earth, which is what protects us from cosmic radiation. Right. right. And so, so all of us are going to get more of a dose of it. Yeah. I sort yeah. of got mine ahead of time. So when it happens, I'm already through it. I don't know. <laughs> but doesn't radiation have like a bit of a spectrum, I wonder, just like UV light, that some parts are harmful and other parts are actually really good? Yeah. But haven't we also noticed that the sun doesn't burn us anymore? You yeah. Know, the color has changed and we're Very a couple white. of, you know, <laughs> white people. We don't go pink anymore. Like no. Whether that means that the rays that were harmful were Look artificially behind. put into the sun by a sun simulator or something, or our sun is changing. Or if we're moving to a different part of around the galactic sun, you know how this, that, that, that's how it's meant to be, that every 5,000 years we move to a different area in the sky that perhaps the uh, light is different here or something like that. Well, people have talked for a long time about entering the photon belt, which there's an area with dense photons, which is particles of light. So a lot of light. So maybe, you know, and that's what's changing the sun is entering this and it's charging it up and heating up all the planets. So anyway, we got pretty far off topic on that one. <laughs> okay. The idea is anytime you see something that goes through any group and the group that they're trying to control the most isn't the ones who are already just watching tv and believing what channel says because they're already um, scared yeah. yeah 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 it's us mm -hmm. and so all this information goes to this awakening community and i've just gotten to the point where i don't trust it anymore i went out to dinner last month for my birthday dinner with my three kids all of whom who got the job and we were doing our usual thing. We're just chatty and funny and it goes around the table really fast and we're making jokes. We have a lot of fun together. But I decided to do something really uncharacteristic 
which was to tell them about a spiritual experience I'd had, which was actually saw with my physical eyes. And I think I mentioned it in an earlier show, but basically the Christ consciousness showed up. I offered him food because he was like begging for food, but he had the cleanest aura I've ever seen. I was like, he doesn't feel like a beggar at all. I mean, oh my God, who is he? And so I said, I, I bought him a burger and I, I'll, I'll come back around and give it to you after I go through the pay thing. And this is a restaurant I'd never go to. It's like a McDonald's for God's sake. And I was like, I gotta go to McDonald's and get this. I don't know why I gotta buy two burgers. I can't eat two burgers. I don't know why. And then I come around and there's this guy. And I'm like, oh, I got you a burger. I'll bring it around. And then I drive for a little bit and I look back and he's not there. And I'm like, oh, I mean, he must've just gone behind something, you know, but then I'm driving up and it was really quick. I was the only car in line. And I went back around to the back to give it to him. He wasn't there. And it was maybe two and a half minutes. And I'm looking everywhere because he's like, oh, there's some people over there, but that's not him. And where would he have like jumped up, grabbed all his bags of stuff and ran like hell to go hide behind a bush when he's asking for food and I'm offering him one. And he also, what was very cool was he said, and why this is important, I'll go into later. But pretty much all he said to me, other than, you know, I'll give you a burger. He said, I'll take it, was you have a wonderful dog. You are very lucky. And she had gotten all weird and climbed in my lap and was like, not shaking, but <laughs> panting fast. And her heart was going boom, 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 boom. But she wasn't afraid. And I don't know what happened. She was just very excited. And she was the one who told me, get in there, go get the burger. I'm like, why? Just do it. Okay, okay, you know. So uh, when I came around to give it to him, he was no one there. I know exactly where he was. There was a light above it and everything. And I called out and I backed up and I went forward again. No, nope. I'm like, well, he's gone and then i went wait a minute there's something weird about this so at this dinner i'm with my kids and i said you know anybody had any weird dreams lately so i opened up and i was just gonna leave it there and then i said i heard i really got tell them like something happened to me that wasn't a dream and i told them about it and i got a little emotional i just sort of went and then he disappeared and I realized who he was. And the table went, <gasps> okay, whoa. And I looked at them all. And I'm like, something's happening. Because they were tuned inward. And it was like, you learn something like this. That reality is shifting. It's like, whoa, that wasn't a dream. You know, something like that. You don't think they were sitting there thinking you were crazy for having such a no. strange vision? Mm -mm. No, because my, my kids roll their eyes all the time at my stuff. Like so said, they would I say, yeah, they them would do that. Yeah. Right. yeah, they were like, just really quiet. And a couple minutes went on and I'm like, what's going on? And I felt that presence come. You, you felt it too, right? That just mm. that sweet, love, clear, it pure is. energy. Yeah. Yeah. And I realized that he come in. And in that moment, when they just got their self popped open, it's like, don't worry, they're healed. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I mean, I wasn't worried anyway. But if we talk about the return of Christ, right? Maybe the return of Christ is our is all of our ability just to tune and go and heal you. We don't need bed beds. I mean, mm -hmm. some people you can still do it, but. Christ didn't need med beds and obviously I didn't need any med beds in order to heal them but I just like oh I just knew they're fine they're good and and mm -hmm. it's going to be coming around whatever it is if people aren't meant if they haven't chosen on a soul level to be damaged or infertile or whatever it is or pass away they're going to be fine yeah so I think let that fear go that a lot of the uh, the spiritual people have had that message over and over again that your children are coming with you into the new world. They are other friends and family uh, might be a different story, but your children are meant to be definitely coming through. Exactly. Hmm. Yes, and your pets and your pets. So let's so, talk about pets. Yes. So I was looking at what was, why would he just focus on my dog? And why was it my dog? So my dog is really unusual. She's really telepathic. I was thinking about 
finishing watching her collar because she rolled in shit last night. And she's like, oh, good, we're going somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's just a little bit thought in, in my mind. I have the image of the, of the C word. I want her to hear it. Um, and she's like, oh, we're going. Great. Let's go. You know, and like, so, no, no, I got to record. You got to wait. So, uh, so I was thinking, oh, I guess that she's taught me telepathy and intuition because and she does, also my daughter and other people get messages from her and they're kind of blown away. Does she, is she just think, is she, you know? Then I let, wait a minute. If she's so wonderful and I'm so lucky, she's just, you know, dogs. They all have, I've always thought, you know, they communicate this way. It's just us and their dum-dums. And I realized that she's not just a dog soul. This is an advanced soul that had come in to protect me and to teach me. And then I went, oh, my God, this is true of so many light workers, close pets. With their pets. So or it might be part of the team, you know? Yeah. You have people with totem animals and so forth. Well, yeah. this is like that kind of support, but coming in through a physical body. Mm -hmm. So listen to your pets. Listen See if they're, pets. if they're paying attention to your thought. And um, I mean, twice she saved me from attack, too. And we so were tell, on tell a, us your latest one. Didn't you have a latest one about that? Yeah. Most recently, I was driving in the car, stopped at a stoplight, and was waiting for it to turn green again. And my dog just went nuts, barking like crazy and back, which I'm t I told her their signal to be quiet, her command to be quiet. She ignored me totally. I'm like, what are you doing? I pulled on her leash. Nope, ignored me, just barked out the back of the car. So I looked back to see what it was, and there was this guy with a really bad energy, moving quickly through traffic, through the parked cars, he heading toward my car where she was barking. And I was like, oh, <laughs> lock the doors, because I felt that energy. And he went back the other side and he was, why the sound I going to burn? And he was just walking like this and he's like talking to himself and there was so much anger. And I don't know what he was planning, but I, there was I, bad I'm energy sorry. coming my way and she was like, back off you aren't getting near my mom so yeah. trust your animals you don't know if they if someone like that is just generally a nutter and continued raving as he went down the street or if it's one of these um magneto recipients right we, that we talk about up, that yeah we put that up on one of the previous episodes that um the article from 2015 or 16 talking about how you can remote control the brain and behavior once that magneto is inside so yeah i think pets are going to be very helpful in, in at the moment while that is a possibility we must get to that point where if the consciousness rises the christ consciousness rises that we can get rid of that out of every body every body exactly. that's, that's on the planet right so i mean i've gotten cleared people of demons i've done spontaneous healing of people at a distance it's like what he said was what i do all of you will do and more yeah. so it's time for us to realize you know you're not just a random person who happened to get born now you are one of the most powerful high integrity high frequency beings there are volunteered to come here as, as well as the, the creatures who are our pets to create this shift and when we got through the veils, we thought, oh, no, I'm just little old me. But it's time to go, wait a minute. I'm not just little old me. I encourage you all to uh, own you, who you are and go big with it. Don't be don't be thinking, oh, OK, I might be a, a, a Pleiadian maybe or something. It was like, nah, I'm a big wig. I'm a goddess. I'm a, <laughs> you know, I'm this. And notice don't how need you a feel. label don't need a label on your forehead right no you know, but it, whatever it, it is feels good fine but you know some people i think are just doing that just so that they have a sense of belonging but that's yeah. not necessary not necessary yes yeah. well i think start playing with it even if you don't really believe it because you'll what will splash out is the old stuff which is no i couldn't be oh god i just assessed my Precisely. ego mom always said i always wanted to be the center of attention mm, you know whatever yeah so let that stuff come out and realize it's all programming it's not you and start pumping it out so when especially when the big shifts happen in your power but when you just talked about mom saying you know that you want to be the center of attention i think about my parents would would knock me back knock me back 
there were two different occasions. Like one was in school where uh, I wanted to dance my best. And the teacher came up to me and said, look, you know, you're in a lineup here and we just need you to dance smaller because otherwise the other kids, you know, their parents will be upset that their kid doesn't look good on the stage. So you need to dance more. And this made me so angry that it was so opposite to what I felt I should be doing. Not what I wanted to do, but what I felt I should be always doing my best. And went back home, talked to my parents and said, this is what they said. What do you think? As you do, you trust your parents. And my, mm -hmm. my dad, the, you know, the great conductor said, well, really, you know, you're in a lineup. So maybe she's right. And then again, it was, uh, I thought, well, okay, I trust my dad. But I, um, so I did pull it back. And then I pulled it back from there on. I never took the spotlight. Uh, occasionally, I, I might do a TV commercial or something where I was out front, but only commercials, not TV series or anything big or decent, you know, always either sabotage the contract, mess up your audition, or say you're not available, like just never ever stand out and be out strong. And yet there, there might've been a reason for that to hold back and not become high profile where you can be easily picked on by crazy nutters like you were talking about. There's a reason to sit in the background for a long, long, long time until your time comes. And then you go, okay, now I understand who I am. It's time to do my yes. job. So a lot of us have been not able to live out our, our dreams. You know, we know the work we are supposed to do, what we came here to do, and it just gets thwarted. I mean, they took all the they took out the server my website was on. You know, it's like, oh Lord, they're really doing it. So to embrace that what we're doing is inward focus, resting, because it's gonna get busy. And a matter of fact, it's already started on the spiritual realm. My experience about dreams of demons and hell coming through a portal and then having my bathroom smell like hell and, and needing help to clean it out uh it's like oh angels we clean that out it was like smelled again the next night so it's like and it's not the toilet it's not a thing you know um and i could never locate it i'd sniff all around i was like where is this coming from and i realized ding 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 after the dream oh my god that's a portal why did i not remember that right there's a time that'll come when the sh whatever the event or something is shifting, you know, news is coming out. We've got the evaluation of what happened on November 3rd in Arizona and other states asking for that and other things happening. So it's coming really quick. It's like we're getting to a deadline where the shift has to happen. And the bad guys on the spiritual realm, as well as in the physical realm, are doing their last big bang. They were just like, they're gonna to try to take us down. So be very aware of what's going on. And if you'd like to smudge or sprinkle salt, just set the intention that you've got like a bubble around you that's safe and ask your totem animals, your angels, whoever it is, your soul family who are out of body, to back that up and just keep conscious of it and listen to your intuition. If your dog suddenly wants you to go through McDonald's, go. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, noticing also when you're feeling low, because if anyone happens to be watching over you, they will, and I'm talking about on the, on the physical level, because we are listed, we are on a list to be targeted and all that sort of thing. We've, we've talked about that before over, over many years, that if you find that you're dropping low, notice why and just see if there's a bit of a pattern there as to are you being fed more of that kind of experience so that you will end up more low um you know you have to be super aware of when you're dropping and whether they're noticing that too and giving you more of the same uh, and to be able to find a way to pick yourself up so for me i know you're talking about protection and lots of people do talk about that um i i've always gone by the principle that if you set up something to the, the protection you're you're simultaneously creating something that you need to be protected against and so for me i'm like okay if anything is hitting on me i'm simply going to turn up the light inside yep. rather than rather than putting up little barriers of protection so i mean that's that's just two different ways of handling the same situation isn't it my thoughts about the bubble are this is a thing that notices when something's incoming so i'm aware 
Because if you get that little hit, uh uh-oh, and you ignore it, because what could that be? Then you are not turning your light up, which is ultimately. Oh, you've got to be able to see it. Yeah, you've got to notice when it's happening. Yeah. And be able so that to my, my <laughs> bubble is uh, <laughs> yep. knock it oh, back out of, the, out of those. So yeah, that's it. Knock it back out. Good. That's the way to go. But if you've got any any issues that you want to talk about with us, drop it in down below. Questions. And yeah. Thank you for the comments that you've been putting in so far. Thank you um, also for pointing out that a couple of our episodes have disappeared. Um, I am going to get around to putting, and I'm not going to just. <laughs> You can buy me a round two if you want <laughs> but, uh, to get all of these up on Rumble. It's a safer place to um, put in donations. It's also a place that they won't throw it off. They won't remove things if they don't like what we're saying. So as far as we know so far. So I'll put them all up on Rumble. Um, I might put them on Odyssey as well, just as a third backup. We'll see how we On do. which one? Odyssey is another one that's, that's also quite good. But Rumble is, is first shot, so I'll see if I can. It's a lot of uploading to do, but it'll be uh, be nice to have it as a, a collection. Again. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. So okay. See you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.